I recently upgraded my kayak to the Slayer Max 12.5 2022 version and I decided after about a year and a half of using the landing gear and, and discovering the massive amount of hassles that the landing gear incur upon you including like being super nose heavy I decided to switch over to a cart and I had a lot of difficulty finding a cart that worked with this particular uh, hull style and I ended up making one with maker pipe components and keep watching and you'll see it. I'll put a link in the description to the maker pipe cart if you're interested in one for your Slayer Max. So I ended up using 13 inch wheels from Harbor Freight for this and they're inflatable and it can go over the small and medium sized rocks with no issues. You have to give it a little, you know, oomph to get it over some of them but it goes over them no problem at all and because the cart is metal it will not break. Guaranteed. This thing is heavy duty. Yeah, how shallow is it here? So I ended going upriver and I got into a few dinks, uh, two large mouths and a couple small, small mouths. And then near the bridge, that's where the action started to get a little better. And then a little later on, it got even better than that. So keep watching. I ended up getting about, I don't know, five or six total, including the dinks. But I'm only going to show the three best ones in this video. So stay tuned. The first decent fish of the evening came on a black and blue chatterbait under the bridge. Oh, there we go. Folks, nice little smallie. So as I worked my way up river, I saw some real nice laydowns, and I chucked a small Ned rig right in front of it. And watch what happens. Oh, sh son of a that thing was huge. Son of a the sun started to go down, and I switched over to a topwater lure the Whopper Plopper 75. There we go. Look at that. They are looking up. Little sh mm, go anywhere near that treble hook, dude. go folks look at that nice smally oh that's like smally number five or six I don't know it's not bad I had just dislodged the whopper plopper from the pine tree which was no easy feat 
but it did put me in perfect position for a parallel cast with the Whopper Plopper. <laughs> that was awesome! was on the whopper plopper. It started to get too dark to fish, so I had to head it back to the launch. Overall, it was a good evening. I only spent a few hours out in the water, but got a total of about five or six fish, with three of them being pretty decent. Two largemouth also, they were just dinks. But overall, good evening. Thanks for coming out in the water with me. Bassman out. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you'd like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.